Oh, hey. <coughs> yeah. Nice night out here, huh? Perfect spring night out here. Yep. Got light jacket, shorts on. It's probably about mid 50s out here. Yep, take a little stroll to the park. Yeah. I'll do my 10 step challenge. Let's see if the doo doo effect can count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. Come on, Brad, Braden, count to ten for us. Yeah, count to ten and take a walk around the neighborhood. And I don't mean to your driveway to your girly little V8 truck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come out to the Mexican restaurant after having three margaritas and tequila shots. Say, oh yeah, just go back from the Mexican Mexican food. Yeah, okay. Shit. Most of the time, he's too co cooped up with his fucking frat buddies doing cake stands. But yeah, that's not the main of this video. Is, you know, main of this video is just, just, just to shoot the shit. Yeah. It's crazy, man. All these pred poachers are leaving YouTube. Well, some have no choice, but they're forced out by having YouTube channels getting deleted. I mean, yeah, that's why everybody's going. That's why everybody's going to Rumble. Some are going to locals. I know Alex has, you know, AKA Gordon Flowers. Yeah. Well, he does some catches out there. He puts content up there. I think it's like what seven bucks a month to do like locals. You know, I, I'm not gonna pay no seven dollars, but yeah, definitely could support the the Pred Poacher channels. Yeah, on Rumble. I know a few have gone there. You know, FM. You know, the New York Creep guy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he puts some good stuff. No, I'm not talking about Phil Cuck FM. This is a different one. He's doing for real. He's got a rumble count. There's another one, Sam. CP Catcher. Yeah, he was live. He's quitting YouTube. Ghost got his account terminated, so he's on rumble. Courtney Elizabeth. Alex has two counts on rumble. Yeah. That's why everybody's going to rumble nowadays. I don't blame him, but that's why most of my vlogs are going on rumble. Because, you know, if they're going to be... Not like over Regis locks, but yeah, I'm putting more shit on there. I'm just keeping my YouTube channel more professional. I tell you one thing. I have to probably say this once, and I'll say it one more time. When the when the hockey season is over, Santa Cup playoffs, I ain't put shit up in YouTube for a while. I'll put on maybe promotion videos, or maybe occasionally if I get a good stream, I'll do a premiere. But other than that, I'm a, I'll just put up my occasional music, podcasts. Some preview videos, what, what's going to be popping up on Rumble. Because, you know, some of the stuff I put on Rumble, is it, you know, it don't get taken down. Or it don't get age restricted. YouTube's so crazy. I mean, yeah. Because you know why? Because YouTube works for collaboration with Silicon Valley, with Google. Yeah, trying to keep that advertisement, get the money, revenue. I mean, I said this earlier. I think YouTube... It's going to turn more into a, like a TikTok platform because TikTok is probably most likely to get, start getting banned around here. I and mean, they're fighting back because the U.S. is bitching about their, their Chinese company exploiting the rights. Montana is always the first state that has banned TikTok. That's right. Oh, yeah. Hey, let me, let me, let me jump into this subject real quick. The sidetrack. Yeah, I just got done watching the Easter conference about a couple hours ago. Holy shit. Four overtimes. Florida and Carolina, yeah. He, uh, Matthew Kachuk won and, and quadruple overtime with like 20-something seconds to go. Crazy, crazy game, yeah. The sixth longest game, you know, playoff game in NHL history. They're saying that's the longest game since 1951 when Montreal played Detroit back in the conference finals. Yeah, I think that game went to the four, no, actually went five overtimes. And Rocket Richard won it for the Habs. So, yeah, sixth longest game. Wow. Man, that's going to put a dagger. I think Harry Carolina, I mean, that's just, I mean, they had everything going for them. They put a shots again. I mean, Sergey Bobrovsky, Uncle Bob. But, yeah. I mean, I think he just put a fucking one time of a wrister on it and it beat uh, Freddie Anderson. Wow. Man, how about them Panthers? Carolina will rebound. I think this, this series is going to go at least six, possibly seven. But I think the Hurricanes will prevail. You know, just just, just long game, so they'll make adjustments as well. Yeah. Anyway, we'll talk about that. Yeah, the Nuggets are two games and nothing in that series, and the Heat's man. How about City of Miami, man? The Heat won their game one, and the Panthers won a game one. Ooh, man. 
Hot spot Miami, baby. Heck yeah. Man, it's much hotter. Dude, Miami's much hotter spot than Fort Lauderdale, let me tell you that. <laughs> Fuck, you don't have to go to Fort Lauderdale or Miami to get some sunshine, some chicks and bikinis, some hot bitches and babes and bucks. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh, I can just hear the splooge go, oh my god, see him is saying disgusting foul shit on the on a video. No, I'm not. Ain't nothing compared foul. Nope. You know, time, it's, it's called having fun video. Heck yeah. No, but lately you don't have to go to Fort Lauderdale, Miami. Dude, the weather's been, it's been warm down and hot. Fuck, we had temperatures in 80, 80 or more degrees last, what, four or five days? We had record break. It got nine degrees for like two days in a row. Yeah, Saturday and Sunday on Mother's Day. And it was like upper 80s on Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, and like I said, it's been, it, it has been. Also, it got upper 70s. It's supposed to cool down by the end of the weekend. Back to normal. Mid to upper 60s. That's what this time of year is supposed to be 66, 67. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's just crazy. The sploosh crew, you know, hypocrisy clucking it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I don't blame the Pred Poacher channels. They're going to rumble because YouTube, man. I mean, yeah, like I said, Ghost lost the channel. A lot of people, a lot of people going to rumble nowadays. Yeah, I mean, you, like I said, they're turn, they're going to turn to a TikTok a platform. And another thing about, yeah, they want to YouTube and Google wants to protect their their Silicon handout, their Google Pedo money handouts. Yeah, of course they are. Yeah, they're the protect. Yeah. That's why they're just like the Phil Cuck glue and the Peter Defense Force. Yeah, protecting and deflecting for, for real sickos. You know why? Because, it, you know, because if, they're, if, they're, if the sickos they're trying to protect and deflect get exposed and busted, well, guess what? There goes the money. There goes the hand down. And with Phil Cuck, yeah. It's funny that Phil Cuck's talking about he's got to work five days, five nights in a row at Birkin 12 hours. <laughs> oh, poor Phil Cuck. Yeah. Five days in a row. Phil Cuck, try working, try, try to four, try working 12, try working uh, about four weeks in a row, 12 hour shifts, five days a week for fucking four weeks. Then get back to me. I've done, I've been, I've done that. The last fucking month, I've been pinned to 10 hour shifts. This week, I put up a couple eight hours. I want to get home for the Hurricanes game. Yeah. And plus, I put up an awesome, awesome, awesome premiere. Really good. Yeah. The Clovenator. Yeah, playing Denise Mad Cow, shit like that. I got some more premieres we'll be dropping in the future. Yeah. Oh, I heard a rumor that Fella Cuck and Spluchka were talking mad shit about me and dying to X Chat, Angela G's, Kim, Scotty's. Yeah, man, these fucking pussification and nefarious fucks have been talking a lot of shit about the same man. And I barely make any headway. I might do occasional, like, a little slap video to retort. Or maybe I'll put up a something on my community page. I'm like, oh, look at fellow cops. Spurs and more bullshit. Her pocket, see? And he's going, oh, fucking creeps and sickos and sex offenders talking my comments and my page. Fellow cuck, nobody gives a fuck about your slap videos. And I'll say it again. Fellow cuck, you can make 50 fucking slap videos on me. I don't care, buddy. I'm not, I'm not the person that's going to strike down somebody or censor their fucking freedom of speech, you know, or the... The ability to make videos. I'm all I'm about more. I'm about more transparency. I'm about more freedom. Exercise it. That's where we have the fear ability. First Amendment of freedom of speech, press, and record. Yeah, I'm about that shit. But it's so funny is you got these, you know, back to blue, you know, douchebags, you know, you know, bootlickers, yeah, snowflake fuck brains. That you know, they're bitching about people recording in public. And they think anybody who records in public or just walking down the street and doing a vlog, or just working on the cops, they're, they're, they're fraud or they're cyber says, No! In this day and age, we got to stand up for our rights. We can't buckle, give up our rights. Like Benchmark goes around and says, Oh, you have no rights when you're being stopped or questioned or be detained by the cops. Or like if you're pulling traffic, you don't have no rights. Bullshit, motherfucker, you have rights. And he thinks, that, you know, he's one of those motherfuckers saying, If you film the cops or firefighters or just anything in general, what, you, what your eyes you see. Like me, I'm fucking filming right now. I'm filming some cars going back there, walking down. I'm just taking a breather while I'm taking well, this log in the park. See? Uh oh. Oh no. Am I stalking that car that's going by there, there finding bench warmer? Oh my goodness. Yeah. And so, hypocrisy. You got dumb fuckers like fellow Cuck and the Spluge crew saying, oh, there's a bunch of hebophilias, minor attractive person, real sickos. Yeah, there's some, there's some convicted felons, some, some convicted offenders. When they're the ones talking about 14-year-old girls look like 8 years old. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Fellow Cuck is the same dumb fuck 
that goes around saying that chicks in college, like 20, 21, look like they're 13 years old. That's how fucking crazy it is. Oh, 18 so old. I don't like him too. Oh, I like him young. Yeah, we know you do, fellow cuck. You're the fucking minor attracted person. You're the habophilia. Yeah. One of them young little girls sitting on your lap and saying, hey, don't mind that. That's just, that's just, let's just play a game called Pinocchio. Like, shut the fuck up, you creep. Creepy Gary. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, a lot of hypocrisy, a lot of shenanigans. You know what? That's all they fucking do. All they do is talk a lot of shit and woofing, you know. And I have a mirror. I, I was in there. I watched a little bit in an intermission in there. So I would do some chit-chat and, you know. And the thing was, I've been fucking busy. No, I don't have time to go around every chat. Also, I did catch the part when OG1 Cannoli was battling with Treachy. And Treachy got fucking triggered. Then he had a buddy on there was talking about peace again. Thomas Slowenberger for a fucking hour. Like, damn, Treach, you had to go back in that shit? And he said, oh, peace is going to change my life. Oh, fucking ain't nothing change your life, Treachy. The only thing that changed your life is fucking doing fucking ounce of blow and bong rims and consuming booze with your snaggle tooth wife and the double white and broken ass air Oklahoma. And you got a fellow cock driving his girly Nissan pickup truck and that thing sputters on the freeway and his bitch and moan about this and that, like hypocrisy. And I said earlier, like, yeah, fellow cock wants to see, he wants to see pictures and see evidence of dead bodies of little children, like from Sandy Hook and you validate if you are. Yeah, some somebody can like, well, why would he want, why wouldn't he see it like that? For proof, and for evidence, because Philip Cog doesn't believe what the news says, oh, 20 children died, or, you know, 18 kids died, and two teachers died, and you vowed. Oh, it's not enough proof. He wants to see a proof of that shit. Yeah. Yeah, Philip Cog, you ever wonder why Alex Jones went bankrupt? Duh! Yeah, because he's calling out saying he lost. Yeah. And he lost his precious info wars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, bench roamer, you better call the cops on me. Yeah. I'm harassing, stalking people, drive and walk down the street. Yeah, shut the fuck up, goober boy. I say, bench roamer, why don't you go give another uh, police sar uh, sergeant? Oh, better if you why don't you go give the police detective a mouth hug with your mouth? <laughs> you know, he's a mind your mind, y'all. Peace out. That sounds pretty nice. <laughs>